Hello and welcome to Ivy Creates by Deanna Carroll. Today we're going to be exploring the difference between traditional Halloween and farmhouse Halloween and which one you might think looks better and a couple of different ways to stage them. Now as you can see I've made my last week I had done the traditional orange stack of pumpkins and I made this little pumpkin out of the spider web bowls you get from Dollar Tree as you can see right here I'm showing you the the ones we made last week on my previous video so this week I took the chalk country finishes and I painted everything with the chalk country finishes summer wheat to give you the farmhouse look which is typically a white or off-white kind of coloring um, and something a little different and I do love the way it came out it's very cute but I'm adding to that um, I took another of our uh, spider web bowls and we're gonna be making a mobile which I'll show you in a sec and in addition to it I also had these skulls that I'd purchased from Dollar Tree and on that I painted those with the uh, chalk country finishes and then I went back over them with some of the like bronzy colors of um, black and bronzy colors back in the cracks in addition to that I painted them with my signature uh, glow-in-the-dark paint that I like to hide in a lot of things so I painted the skulls to glow in the dark and this is just going to show you a little bit about the mobile that we made and I used um, the fishing line on it and um, Fishing line has been very difficult to find around these parts, even though I'm on the Gulf Coast. And the, the fishing line is just sold out of everywhere. I went to the Walmart. I think there were maybe three packs of fishing line, and I got one of them. Um, and all of our supplies like that are, are sold out for some reason around this area. And um, so I buy fishing line all the time, and it disappears. Please subscribe and share. Thank you so much for watching and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. I would really appreciate it. Um, and we have lots of cool videos coming up. Lots of things that I've already made that you might enjoy. So go to my channel page and discover all of the other videos. So you can see that I am wrapping the fishing line around the little spiders in their legs and I cut them probably anywhere from 10 to 18 inches long and I'm not really super precise on the measurements of the fishing line simply because um, I mean you don't want it looking crazy high and low but uh, it's just you know you don't have to be all exact and precise with it. It can be different heights all of them a little different because you're going to tie them a little differently too. So what I'm doing to tie this onto my spiders and then eventually to my spider web bowl is I'm going to um, use a square knot and if you're not familiar with a square knot please leave me a comment and I'll demonstrate in my next video on exactly how to make a square knot. It's very easy and a square knot essentially just tightens up on itself so uh, when you pull it it gets tighter it doesn't slip out and that makes it better for holding things especially like fishing line I love to make lots of wind chimes and mobiles and different things like that so um, I have to have a knot that'll hold up whatever pieces I'm putting in my junk chimes so uh, I call them my junk chimes because a lot of times I'll use recycled items on to make a mobile or to make a wind chime so you can see I'm just kind of testing how they hang a little bit and adjusting them as I need to now on these spiders I did not change the coloration any um, I liked it kind of just the way it was you could paint them any different colors you want to the only one I painted was the big spider and it was a kind of a velvety looking um, soft uh, spider and I had painted some Dixie Belle black on it and um, it was just to, to make it hold up a little bit better and and I wanted a kind of different look on it than that velvety look so that's the only one I painted but you could paint all the spiders any color you want you could paint them to be more realistic you could paint them all white or off-white like I do um, you know just whatever you want and but I just happen to like the sparkly spiders at this point so you can see I'm just pulling out my little pieces of fishing line and putting them onto my spiders So 
So there are lots of ways that you could do this. Um, I thought that these spider web bowls were absolutely fantastic from the Dollar Tree because I can use them for so many things. Uh, they are ab absolutely perfect for making wind chimes because they have all the little lines on them and they're open and they are perfectly, strangely enough, eight little pieces like little legs on this spider web bowl just like there are on our spiders so um it's it's got a perfect you know width between all of them and everything for making things like this so please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on our future videos I hope you're enjoying this project. I love making Halloween projects. Any kind of Halloween project I can make is always going to be fantastic um, for me because I, I love making them. It's just fun. So you can see I test each one just to see how I like the spider hanging. You know, silly but fun. Please hit the like button and uh, let me know that you liked or didn't like, however, you know, on the video. And if there's any future videos that you would like to see, please don't be afraid to leave me a comment. I do look at my comments and I do answer and reply to them. So uh, any questions you may have or uh, if you would like to see any future projects or anything of the sort, please leave me a comment and let me know. I don't know unless you guys tell me what you want to see. So now I am taking the little spiders that I had hanging on my fishing line and I am attaching them to each drop down of the bowl, of the spider web bowl. Um, I did go to Dollar General this week and I did see that they too have just gotten spider web bowls, but theirs actually have some weird skull thing printed in the middle. It's, it's funny how it is. I can usually find the same items from the Dollar Tree at Dollar General, but they're just that little bit extra. So they charge $2 more for them. <laughs> but yeah, they looked a little strange. I like the planer, just the spider web, because I can do a lot more with it. Um, and it doesn't have to have a skull or anything else on it. Um, but yeah, Dollar General has now started putting out their Halloween stuff as well. Dollar Tree is still putting out Halloween, Thanksgiving, and now Christmas all at the same time. It's hard for us in small businesses and such because, you know, uh, I work also in a flower shop doing flower design and um, your tendency is to want to wait because I grew up in a flower shop. We waited until after Thanksgiving to do any Christmas decorating. It was always the weekend following Thanksgiving that we did all of our Christmas decor in the shop and in our house. And... Um, you know, then we never put up Halloween until October 1st. And Thanksgiving wasn't until the day after Halloween. So um, doing all these decorations at once and doing them so early, I remember seeing Hobby Lobby started, started putting out their Christmas stuff in May. Uh, ours did. And I'm just like, why? Why, 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 why? It doesn't give you time to enjoy all of the little holidays. Um, in their separate and individual ways so you can see I'm just trying to see how they're how far they're hanging down and I want to make sure that they're somewhat similar in length but not crazy high lows or anything like that um, I want them all a little different but just not out you know they have to be kind of similar within you know a couple of inches of each other i don't want one six foot long and one two foot long that would not work so i am putting them on all around the little edges here and just tying them to in a square knot and the key to making a square knot is you have 
one of uh, whatever it is you're making it with rope twine or what have you you have one and the way you lay it across the knot you do at the same time that on your second loop across the knot so if it's laying on the top you got to leave it on the top and like I said if you want to see a demonstration of a square knot I'll be happy to show you one uh, not everybody gets it all the time and uh, I can tell you from experience it took me a little while and as all things do because I'm left-handed and most of the time people are showing me in a right-handed way when I was a little kid um, there was I was in kindergarten head start actually and there was this little girl there and I could not tie my shoes for anything because my mom was right-handed and I was the oldest and so I could never learn how to tie my shoes and this little girl in kindergarten I'll never forget it she's the one who actually taught me how to tie my shoes she was my age and she taught me how to tie them when I was a little girl and I, you know I just thought that's the cutest story and I still remember her face to this day Now I do have some affiliate links listed below for if you would like to go shopping for any of these items please just click on the link below it does help support this channel um, you don't have to but I'm just telling you so you can see I've got several of my spiders attached and it won't be long and I'll have the rest of them done and stay tuned for the end piece because I do have a couple of videos showing the different stagings of these items um, I didn't get to stage the stacked pumpkins and you know the orange ones uh, the traditional I didn't get to stage that but I did to do two stagings on the farmhouse and the reason why I didn't get the um, staging outside because I like to take the pictures outside when I do that um, we had you know a little storm last week or so um, that was over in the Louisiana Texas border was Louisiana it wasn't even in Texas but we didn't know if it was coming here or not I'm on the Mississippi Gulf Coast and I'm not far from any of that area so um, I'm about 45 minutes from New Orleans that's the best way I can explain it and we were kind of worried and it was kind of windy and rainy and all that good stuff we did get some weather um, but not not to the extent that they did so I didn't take any pictures outside and I went ahead and repainted them just working on my projects. Please visit my Facebook. Um, you can get me at Deanna AC is my Facebook page. It's also called Deanna Carroll. Um, and I have the links to that listed below. And check out some of my other pages and my profile and all that good stuff. And you can see I'm just trying to see how they're hanging from my little mobile and it's very difficult to translate this on video it really really is on you know from from the angle that my camera is at which is honestly it's the best angle for you guys to be able to see from anyways so I'm going to show you the finished pro finished project in just a second um, I did go ahead and glue on my big spider right there you can see my big spider and I added some of course you gotta add glitter of course so I added some glitter paint to the back of the spider and I had these two little um, they're like scatter balls um, I have you'll see them in further on in the video but they were the orange glitter and I made those the eyes of my spider um, I wanted to add of course something extra and just added them and glued them on to the spider and I'm gluing another spider onto the side. That is the one thing about this little bowl is it does have spiders on the side, two spiders on the side of the little bowl. And um, I painted over them and just painted them the same color and you don't really notice them that much. Or you can go back and paint them in black or a different color so that they stand out. That's entirely up to you. And just making sure that the eyes on the spider stick down. There we go. 
And you can, of course, change things and do things however you wish to do them. Uh, you don't have to do them exact or precise in any way. I'm not generally a precise type of person. Um, I'm a go with the flow kind of girl. And so um, that's generally what I do is just go with it. Whatever works, works. And if it doesn't, I try until it does. <laughs> so you can see the spiders are hanging from the little mobile. And they look rather cute. I, I can't explain to you. This is hanging on my front porch right now. And it is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Of course, I don't need Halloween to be hanging spooky stuff. Or to have spooky stuff around my yard. There's a gargoyle that lives in my garden. A big one. That I borrowed from um, the Halloween decorations at Home Depot from a couple of years ago. Well, when they went on sale, I bought one with the big gargoyle. His name is Max. And I painted him and stuck him in my garden. And that was, he's been there for a couple of years. So definitely don't need Halloween to decorate however you want to decorate. Anybody walking up to my front door would probably be scared because I have random things around my yard that are just silly as they can be. Um... Let's see, there's a Velociraptor that lives on one of my plant stands. There's a T-Rex that lives out in the yard somewhere. There's several alligators around. There's one in my pond. There's a couple in the garden. Um, and these are all statues, mind you. They're not the real thing. But I do have real banana spiders and golden orb weavers. And those make huge spider webs. Um several of those things and I do live out in the country so it's not like anybody's ever going to come visit me they're primarily for my happiness not for anyone else's so um right now I'm trying to put the ties on for the top of the spider and this is to be able to hang it from a hook so I'm just tying my little um square knot up there and I put two of these together I use one towards the front and one towards the back just to make sure that it hangs evenly and I adjust it between the legs of the spider to make sure that everything hangs evenly and it doesn't tilt one direction or the other you can see better now the glitter on the spider and uh, the eyes of the spider so this is Mama Spider, and she's got lots of little girl babies. If you ever see a golden orb weaver or banana spider in person, they're rather large spiders. They can be mm, three to four inches long. They're, they're pretty big, and they can be almost palm-sized. And uh, they have the that, and those are going to be all the females that are big and make these gargantuan size webs. And when I say huge, I'm talking mm, 10, 10 feet wide and tall and and three dimensional, not just flat. Um, they can be huge, and many of their webs, they're called gold, golden orb weavers, are actually uh, a golden yellow in color, and they're very pretty. But um, the, the big spiders are the females. And then you'll see sometimes on the web also is a tiny little spider. And that's the male. The males are teeny tiny. And they just kind of hang out waiting, hoping, praying that the female will let them come near them without eating them. <laughs> so now I'm just hooking all of my pieces together to make a, a finishing not so that I can hang it up properly. I hope you've enjoyed this project and you're about to see all of them put together and you'll see why I did everything the way I did. I go in and I, um, I did tie some different ribbons around the little pumpkin man or stack of pumpkins uh, to give it different looks. Um, I really liked the way the black and the burlap and the um, polka dots looks, which you'll see in just a second. And you'll see many of the other things. I have a little piece of video because, honestly, this uh, spider mobile, you can't take pictures of it. It just does not work real well. So you're about to see a little video, so stay tuned. And you'll see that and see how it looks hanging on my front porch.
So there we have it. It's all complete. And here's the video of my front porch. Now this is, I just put one of the skulls inside my little pumpkin bowl. And if you want to know how to, I made that very simple. You can check the last video that has the orange pumpkin stack and the orange ones. And that tells you, shows you how I actually made all of that. Now here is the mobile and the way it's hanging and how the spiders look when they're hanging from the fishing twine. And I will tell you, I went back out at night and of course my yard spiders loved it. They thought it was fantastic and immediately started building webs all in it. So, and you can see my tank in the background there. He's walking along, my big boy. But here's the spiders and this is what it looks like hanging up and it's really cute. I mean, absolutely adorable. The camera does not do it justice. It looks so fantastic in person. All right, now this is the way, the first way that I staged it. I put this little burlap and black polka dotted bow on my pumpkin stack and just put a little scatterings around and hung my mobile, mobile in my trellis right next to my front porch. Yes, I wish I could figure out a way to spray something glitter or uh, color or something on my big banana spider webs so that I could get a good picture and show everybody, but I just am afraid I might hurt them, so I won't be doing that. But here are some pictures of the other stagings and the other ways that it looks. Um, this is a, a second look here with just some little, uh, these came also from the Dollar Tree and different things that I'd put in and I put on different ribbons for the neck and I used the little scatter. All this stuff came from the Dollar Tree. You can find it all there. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you visit my page and um, get a good look at my pretty garden <laughs> which really truthfully looks more like a jungle. And this was the traditional pumpkin. I don't know which you like more. So tell me which you like more, if you prefer the traditional orange or if you like the farmhouse versions. Hi, did you click that subscribe button and the notification bell? Well, if you don't hit that notification bell, you will miss out on our Thursday videos. So please go ahead, click it, and you'll be able to watch our videos that are coming up.